Well, it's been a while, hasn't it? Hey, y'all. HH Blue Dynamite here. The number two has been blue. Back again for another has been hotel theory video. And how long has it been since I did a video? <laughs> the last one was a was a let's play, and I kind of lost interest in doing that. I'm also like I keep thinking about that one enemy that I'm inevitably just gonna have to face, and I'm like, no, no, thank you. So I've been brushing that off, but I really want to go back to doing this. So it's something that I can but think about. And obviously, you guys seen uh, the thumbnail, the uh, the title. It, it involves. I really, I'm surprised that not a lot of people have talked about it. I don't think I'm the only one who thought about this, but let's get on to it. It's been stated that. Helsa, Helsa von Eldritch, I'm guessing that's how you pronounce it, is said to be Charlie's rival in the matter. She's, in terms of a character, she's that um, really preppy, main girl-esque, what's her name? Uh, that Regina chick? Revenge Party? I don't watch a lot of those kind of movies growing up, but that's the basics I'm getting from her. I don't, in fact, I don't think I even need to be told of like what the reference of she is is, because I can already tell that she's that kind of character. She's gonna be that uh, that popular girl with the nice hair, the nice makeup, the nice clothes, who will look down on everybody and everything, and thinks she is hot stuff, the hottest thing in hell. <laughs> who probably thinks more so of herself than Angel does of himself, but she sets up to be Charlie's rival, which intrigues me because, well, what's a rival? Oh, to me, maybe it's because of Pokemon, but to me, a rival is somebody who has a similar idea as you, or it's like a similar, you're like you're in a similar field as they are, and you try to one up one another. Like say, like say Pokemon, you know, Pokemon trainers Ash Ketchum and Gary Oak, or uh, I'm still in my hero academia craze, um, Bakugo and Midoriya, which yeah, th and they're becoming more healthy rivals, I would think, in that aspect of them becoming heroes. So, in that case, obviously with what I'm doing here is, is there going to be a plot point of Helsa opening up a hotel of her own? I could kind of see a episode tackling this, because again, they're rivals. They kind of want to one-up one another. I really want to see what the, rela like, the relationship between Helsa and Charlie is back when they were in high school, which I'm still waiting for that comic. I wonder when that's going to pop out. But I can already imagine that, you know, Charlie being the sweet girl that she is, she's often pushed around by Helsa despite her lineage, despite her reputation. So I can almost, I can imagine Helsa, every time I say Helsa, I think of Helsa, but every time she opens up she, she's going to open up a hotel of her own, of course, in the Pride Ring, since, you know, that's where all sinners are. And she'll probably, you know, to, again, one-up Charlie. And I can uh, kind of imagine a scenery of her, you know, going to 66 News, sort of what Charlie did to in, for the interview to showcase her hotel. And unlike Charlie... Maybe it's like, you know, she's not this goody, like, Helsa's not a goody two-shoes like Charlie is, so I can almost see Katie Killjoy and Helsa kind of getting along, kind of don't, because they're kind of like on a similar wavelength, I can imagine. Um, But they both, like, like they kind of respect each other, because if you remember, in Hell, uh, it's power as well as its attitude, in a sense. 
and <laughs> she probably would take a page out of Robo Fizz's book and pretty much take Charlie's song, um, Inside of Every Demon is a Rainbow, and twist it around for her needs. And again, I can imagine a scene of that commercial or that news feed of her doing exactly that, and Charlie just beside herself and Baggy just getting more madder and madder with each uh, butchered verse that Helsa would probably do. And I can imagine that, like the the, the rules of her hotel, which we'll call I I will let's call it the Helsa Hotel, obviously. And that that there's the the rules are very much less strict. And by less strict, I mean there's no rules whatsoever, because uh, Helsa being a hellborn, she probably doesn't really give a crap about yeah the sinner's redemption and. She pretty much placates to their needs because, again, Happy Hotel is going to function like a rehab center. So, yeah, that's going to be the complete opposite. And she'll probably, you know, try to persuade some, if not a lot, if not all of Charlie's patients and then go to her because, you know, there's less rules. It's more fun. And all that shebang. And... Maybe there could be a plot point of Angel going for whatever reason. Because, again, he's he's a loose cannon. He's, um, he, he just wants to live his afterlife. He wants to feel free, I would imagine. And this can only, I think what would make this more sense, if it was like kind of like seeing the first season, this whole thing would be in the first season. And it's clear, I mean, Angel was in the hotel for two weeks, so that's so that's a given enough time for him to bond with Vaggie and Charlie. And I can like you know, he gets you know, he gets swayed to that side. Which is another big blow for among, you know, losing a lot of patience for Charlie. And you can imagine Alistair relishing it. And speaking of whom, there could be a moment where Helsa tries to convince him to sponsor her. Because if you get like a really big, high um, overlord sponsoring your hotel, I mean, it could be possible that her dad would. Because I think her parents, Helsa's parents our overlords too, but, you know, Alistair has one heck of a hit reputation, and having him to sponsor her might give it more credence, and I can imagine Alistair, you know, going along with it, because, you know, him, he likes the entertainment, he could pro he probably relishes seeing Charlie's ambition like her will like just keeps getting crumbled down and down with each loss of her patience, and then there's Angel, and you know he he's relishing it, and he he go he will probably go to the hotel, see how it works. He's probably a lot of chaotic stuff going on, people going crazy <laughs> with the drugs. And, oh man, I'm just going along with this, but even like 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 um uh, orgies or whatever, and. I can only imagine what's probably going to go through Alistair's head when he sees this chaos. And he will probably say it's entertaining in a sense. Like, you see, like, he wants to see the centers fail. And they're failing horribly in this instance. And he'll probably relish in that. But there could be a bit of a twist here that he would later decline sponsoring her hotel for one, just to see her disbelief, like, you're seriously, really, you're not, <laughs> right, and he probably finds it more funny to see the hopes go up than to be coming crashing down in that sense, whereas this is just wanton, like, you know, happiness, like, he lives in that sort of environment for 80 years, I think, 80 plus years, 
so he's seen he's seen this same dance and song he wants something new and that newness was the happy hotel so he's like you know what i'm going back it's a lot more fun over there it's more entertaining and perhaps seeing him leave the others a lot of other sinners might follow along with him because it's like oh the big boy is leaving we should probably go too i'm debating whether or not for angel to go back in this scenario, I'd like to extend that little sadness there that's going on. Maybe, like, in the next episode or whatever. But eventually, you know, uh, Charlie would gain back Alistair. She'll gain back Angel. She'll at least gain back maybe, like, a little bit for patience, if not all at all. And just, you know, rework from the ground up. And as I was actually thinking through this, I kept a think, what if Vox decides to sponsor Elsa's hotel because well who's Vox's rival Alistair so and he would probably like this this is actually an interesting thought because I can almost imagine because you know Vox I bet you dollars to donuts on 6 of 6 news so it's up to him what appears on that news feed and in you're probably mostly going to see Helsa's Hotel instead of the Happy Hotel, which may be more incre more more along the lines of for the radio. This, oh man, this is actually kind of neat. That's going to be a video for another day. Uh, that that's kind of cool. And that's pretty much it on this video. Um, sorry for how long it's been, and. This is like a thought that occurred to me every now and again, because when it's, again, it's revealed that Helsa is Charlie's rival, I figured, well, wouldn't she be owning a hotel herself? Because that would make more sense. And then there's, you know, because, again, what's a rival? Somebody who's in a similar field as you. You can say the same thing with Alistair and Vox. They're showmen. They're, they kind of have similar fields in a sense that, because even, even that one is kind of vague, too, and that's why I like to imagine, and possibly other people, too, to go with Alistair being once a radio host, Vox was a TV host. He was a TV personality, something kind of like show, kind of in a similar vein as the Oprah Winfrey show. Um... I don't watch a lot of TV these days, but, oh crap, talk shows, like, um, Ellen DeGeneres, there we go, couldn't, couldn't find that word, Ellen DeGeneres, shows kind of like that, where he's a host, and that sort of deal, you know, talks to certain guests and the like, or, you know, celebrities and whatnot, so, I, that's an interesting thought right there. Uh, definitely a, a video about the, the potential rivalries and what may entail in that sort of aspect. But this is neither here or there. What do you guys think about this theory? Do you think that Helsa's going to open up a hotel of her own? Or is there like another definition of rivalry that I'm not getting at? And hopefully somebody might shed some light with that one too. But until then, I hope everyone has a blessed day and please. Stay tuned for more. Take care, y'all.